Yeah, this is recording right now. It's recording be right careful now. with that battery. That battery's fucked up, so you gotta be careful with it. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. But we got a bunch of dumb, stupid Americans out here celebrating the fourth of July. You a bunch of dumb, stupid assholes celebrating the fourth of July and the founding fathers of America were all slave owners. Thomas Jefferson was a slave owner. George Washington owned over 300 slaves. And then we got black people celebrating the 4th of July. How stupid are you? He hey, read that again. That leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So all you rich white people, most of you rich white people, you got all your money from slavery. Your parents got their money from slavery hundreds of years ago. And you still living off of that. So guess what? You're going into slavery. You gotta pay for the crimes of your forefathers. Let me get a precept on that. Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. Yeah, she all celebrating some goddamn America when America was founded upon slavery and bloodshed. America was founded upon the genocide of the North American Indians. And still to this day, America goes around the world oppressing all the poor people of the earth, stealing all their resources. And y'all gonna talk about God bless America. No, God fuck America, God damn America. The Lord is gonna destroy America by fire. And all you stupid ass Americans gonna get burned up with it. For blood, it defileth the land. America has been defiled by blood. America in the Bible is known as the bloody city. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So that's plain and clear. <laughs> All right, you ain't gonna escape from your crimes. And Americans are the stupidest people on the planet. America, the rest of the world laughs at Americans because you're so stupid. You're so ignorant. Okay, you're a bunch of dumbasses. You have no knowledge. Your children can't read. They can't do basic math. The only knowledge Americans have is football stats. The only thing Americans know is who won the Super Bowl, or who won the Oscar, or who won the Grammy. That's all you stupid ass people know. You're all worthless. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So soon when the Lord returns, there's gonna be a whole lot of killing, all right? And the Bible says that the Lord is gonna rule with a rod of iron. In the kingdom of heaven, there ain't gonna be no more faggots. There ain't gonna be no more adultery. There ain't gonna be no women walking around showing their naked body, wearing men's clothes, wearing Daisy Duke showing their camel toe. There ain't gonna be no women getting tattoos on their breasts. There ain't gonna be no more child support. There ain't gonna be no wicked ass court system where the rich people never go to jail. Because in America, there is no justice. In America, if, you, if you're a rich man, you don't go to jail. That's what they set your, you go to court, they set your bond at $2 million. That's set up to oppress the poor people and to benefit the rich, to benefit your masters, your rulers. And you people are good with that. They love to have it, don't you? You love it that way. You embrace your slavery. Stockholm Syndrome. That's right, it's called Stockholm Syndrome. Get on Google and look up Stockholm Syndrome. Y'all all suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. This is Exodus 21 and 16. And he, and he that stilleth a man. He that stilleth a man. And selleth him. And selleth him. Just, just like, here we go. This is, America, this, is a, this is your great America right here on this poster. This is your great America. This is what you're celebrating on the 4th of July. You're celebrating slavery. They're a bunch of white devils. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they can they're a bunch of faggots. He, See, and he. So a lot of these rich white people, they, they like to look down on black people. They look down on Latinos. 
All right? That's why they want to call Latino an illegal alien. When they, they was here for thousands and thousands of years before your ass got here. Right. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So they going a lot of people gonna get put to death. There's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. Like the Bible said that blood cannot be cleansed except for by the blood of him that shed it. Sounds good to me. And the Lord is a man of war. That's right. Contrary to what your preacher taught you in your government ran church, the man. Lord is a man of war. Do you understand that? No, they don't. In Matthew 10 and 34, <laughs> the Lord says, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. And the Lord is bringing a sword. So you better live your little happy life while you still got it, because soon you better lose it. Right. Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the Lord is a man of war. He's not a faggot. Okay? Like like these lies that your churches teach. So all, all these churches are under a 501c3 tax exempt status with a the government. They're not allowed to teach the truth. That's why we have, they got homosexual preachers now. They got women preachers. Ooh, the Bible said, you, I suffer not a woman to teach. A, a woman is not supposed to be in any position of authority whatsoever. Okay? A woman's supposed to be at home with her children with her mouth shut. This is next. This is second answer, 15. I'm going to start at 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And a prophecy is America's about to be destroyed. That's the prophecy. <laughs> Y'all want to know about some prophecies? Well, the prophecy is that America is going to get destroyed in this upcoming World War III. Nuclear and if you ain't right with the Most High, you're going to get disintegrated by that nuclear fire. And, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So the Bible says all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord. We know what a faggot don't care about what the Bible says. An adulterous whore, a woman who doesn't have sex with a hundred men, she don't give a fuck what's in the Bible, okay? She, you don't... Be, she, so they got a problem with it. Hundred times. They think it's a joke. They think the Bible's a joke. Right. What well, a joke's, hey, on, joke's you. on you. We're gonna be laughing. And yeah. when the Lord is destroying you, we're gonna celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're gonna drink to your destruction. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Famine. So yeah, famine. What you gonna do when you go to your ATM? to get out your money and the ATM don't work. You go, you gonna freak the fuck out. You ain't got no food at your house. Then you go to the store and there's no food on the shelves. None of you have a garden in your house. You're all gonna starve to death. You're gonna eat your own children. The motherfuckers don't know how to slaughter their own meat. They can't, you know, yeah, right. They, they think the, uh, a cow just comes from the store. <laughs> There's an unlimited supply. That's, that's just natural where it comes from, the, the store. From the store. <laughs> right. Like, like that's where they I got the scripture. <laughs> Let me get it. You got cow plants. <clears throat> Let me get the scripture real quick. Okay, brother. Look out. <laughs> Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Right. The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. That's America. Like I said, in America, when you go to the court, in America, the rich man never Church goes to jail. Because they'll post a bond on your ass for two, three million dollars. You can't pay that. So why is it set up like that? If I pay you a bunch of money, I get to go free? Right. How, what kind of justice is that? Ain't a single person out here in the hood, up in the ghetto, can afford no goddamn two million dollar bail or bond. Hell no. So that's obvious that they uh, read that again. But but Nino Brown, the drug dealer, that's just about oh, it. Oh, no, they don't don't. Uh, yeah, let him go. What? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. right. But he was already working for the feds to begin with. Right. There you go. Psalms two, Psalms ten and two. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Right, 
Right, so That's beautiful. all America does is persecute That's the beautiful. poor. That's beautiful, That's, man. You people in America, you so stupid. You go to work, you bust your ass seven days a week. Then when you get your check, half your check is missing. Because the government done robbed you. They took over half your check, and you happy with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. They paying you with that worthless check. They should be paying you with gold and silver. Mm -hmm. I'll keep going. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. Right, and the government, they boast about their desire. Their desire is to keep your ass in slavery. That's their desire, and they doing a good job of it. Keep going. And blesseth the covetous, the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. Lord the, man. the wicked through the pride of his countenance the Lord will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. That judgments are far above out of his sight. Mm. Mm. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. This is pretty much saying there's a warrant out for you so-called white people. There's a warrant from the Most High. He that has said yeah, so in we, his we, heart. Yeah, we, we, we out here ruining your day. You don't like to hear our words. It's just, that's why the woman, she got she had to walk off. She yeah, couldn't take it. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Did you know what we're saying is true? Keep on. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. Right. <laughs> right. That's, that's pretty much the shit. point on it. Yeah. That, that, that black shit. bitch over here talking shit. Don't let her talk shit. That's good. Well, I'm just saying, it's right. good. It is good. That's all right. You know, it's all right. That's all right. I just, I just, I pray in the most high kills these motherfuckers, man. She's supposed to do what she's doing. Well, you're right. Uh, let me, you know, let, let me, let me, matter of fact, let me finish. Like <laughs> let I mean, me finish this off. Fuck. She's just a devil, just like Esau. Let me finish this off. Psalms 10 and 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places does he murder the innocent. Yeah, in secret right. places. That goes back to their secret society. Mm -hmm. Freemasonry. And you know, Freemasonry is based upon the uh, Kabbalah, which goes back to the so-called Jews, Esau. That's right. That's right. Okay. And all these what, firemen, police officers, it just goes on and on. they all Masons. And like we were saying, uh, if I got a job, Everybody that has a job, you get a check. All right, when you, they don't pay you with money or gold and silver. They give you a worthless piece of paper. And then you gotta take it to the bank. Why you gotta take it to the bank? That's cause the banks are running shit. All the banks are uh, owned and ran by so-called Jew. And the so-called Jew is the biggest piece of shit. The so-called Jew is the biggest piece of shit on the planet Earth. And they got you all in slavery. The so-called Jew runs Hollywood. The so-called Jew prints your money. The money you have in your pocket is not real money. The money in your pocket is Federal Reserve notes. And the so-called Jew owns and controls the Federal Reserve. They print the money. Oh, go ahead. You got more than that, you done? Uh, what did you read? Psalms. Okay, that's cool. Um, I was looking for this one good one, though. Good That's one. right. You know who, uh, whoever prints the money, they're the ones who make the rules, right? Of course they do. Who prints the money? The government. The motherfucking so-called Jews. The not Jews the government, are the government. Not the government. They own the government. They own the government. They own the government. Who's Barack Obama work for? The devil. You damn right. You know who the devil is? The devil. <laughs> well, he is the Jew. Hey, look, I got a script. I got to figure it out. I don't need a Bible. <laughs> oh, well, you do need a Bible. I, I do, but it's not what hey, it's get Revelation 29 real quick. My uh, revelation is messed up. Well, the so-called Jew is the biggest piece of shit on the earth. There's no doubt about you that. You summed it up right there. This is Revelations 2 and 9. They're not the real, we're the real Jews. They're, they're the devil. Read this. This is Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. See, we're all poor. All right, keep going. But thou art rich. We, the rich, this is the real riches. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So the Bible says the so-called Jews are liars. They're the synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews, but they're not. They're liars. They're devils. 
That's right. They're all they, going into slavery. They even go as far as trying to follow some of the laws in this book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They go as far as that one. It's not going to help them, none. I'll hit you up. I'm going to let you know what the so-called Jew does. You know, the, uh, the Bible commands us to circumcise our, our men, right, when mm -hmm. they're born. Mm -hmm. But when the so-called Jew, when he circumcises a ba uh, their baby, they have a, a big ceremony. They have a ceremony. The whole neighborhood comes and watches. Then they have a rabbi comes out, circumcises the baby in front of everybody. Then he sucks the blood out of the baby's penis with his mouth. Get on Google. It, it happens all the time. And uh, Google uh, Jew rabbi sucks baby penis. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Well, the one that one Jew do admitted it. They got Here. videos on YouTube, but he tells you why you got to suck it. Well, yeah, right. Because they're all child molesters. They're all devil worshippers. Worship Satan. <laughs> that one guy that we came out, out here, here several times. Yeah, he said it. He, he that happened to him. Do it on tape. So, uh, he got mad at us because we called him a child molester. That's basically what it is. And it's child molestation. It Plus, I was reading, a, you ever hear of Vice? Yes. Uh, they do the uh, articles, news articles and videos. Well, Vice, look up this Vice article on the internet. I forget the name. But look up uh, Google Vice. Google Vice Jewish bathhouses, you'll find an article. And his vice reporter said he went up one of the Jew bathhouses. They, they see rabbis in there raping little boys in the ass. Little boys. Little, little boys. And it's in their Talmud, their so-called holy book, that they can have sex with little boys and girls as young as two, you know, three, three you know, years old. The you know, Jew, they don't follow the Bible. They got their own book, it's yeah. called the Talmud. Right. You heard about right. that? Yeah. And they reject, totally reject the New Testament. And it also says in the Talmud, it says that the one you call Jesus Christ, that he's forever burning in a cauldron of human excrement. Woo. So that's the so-called Jew. The so-called Jew to you, you're all goyim. You're all cattle, you're all slaves. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why you all have social security numbers. That was the Jew that gave that to you. Yeah, you all a number. Where in the Bible it says I have, I have to have an ID Social security number. That's a precursor to the market of peace. This is Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. So they're going to bow down to us. That's what they're going to do. We're going to hit them upside the head with a rod of iron. That and we're going to afflict them twice how they afflicted us. That's what the scripture says. Give it to them double, brother. Yeah, I've heard an eye. Double. Made two eyes. Give it to them. What, what's, your, what's your nationality, man? I am Italian. you probably one of he, us. He look Italian, too. You're probably a brother. You know you know where Italians come from, don't you? Yep. The Moors. The Moors love, you know, the so-called Israelites. These people here love pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And wherever we go, no matter what that woman looked like, she looked good. Who cares if she's Chinese or Japanese or if she looked good, you're going you're gonna to tear that ass up, right? So we yeah. left our seed there in Italy. Look, we're Israelites. The Bible tells us that Israel, the real, not them Jews over there in Israel, they're not the real Israelites. The real Israelites are more numerous than the stars of heaven. Okay, man. It's good talking. Hey, man, you get your Bible, man. Read this book, man. It's good talking to you guys. All right, man. Read this book, man. Get it. Always do. All right. Hey, Kings of the Earth, Twitter. Kings of the Earth, Twitter. Okay, I'm getting that mark of the beast. Oh, yeah, it's going to that mark of the beast. That was the so-called Jew that implemented that, man. See, the scriptures say that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And that social security number, that's the one that Satan's device. Oh, man, let me show you this, bro, before I even get that. I got something to show you. This is not stupid. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> this is some stupidity. This is a new thing they got going on with the um, with the U.S. military. And just like when you told me that, when you was in the military, they shot you up with shit. They, they gave us all kind of experiments. Wait till you see this one. And you know, from back then, Gulf War One and Two, all the motherfuckers, well, the majority of those uh, uh, military men, they all got difficulties from those uh, inoculations or whatever, whatever you want to call them. What it is, the Jews send you off to die in a war. That's like he sacrificing. There's nothing but Israelites in the military. Sacrificing them to the goat. That's that's what all these wars, all the wars are so-called Jew wars. So-called Jews finance all these wars. All right, what you got? Let's go. All right, uh, yeah, like when I was in the Marines, like he was saying, uh, they experimented on me. 
They was giving us experimental anthrax vac vaccination. They don't do that no more. But like one of my uh, best friends, he got kicked out of the Marines early because the anthrax fucked his brain up. He couldn't, he, still to this day, he's fucked up. Alright. Uh, he so well, you know. We was complaining the whole time we was in. Right, like, fuck right. these motherfuckers. Right, he's Irish. Right. You know, Irish, they don't like nobody. But, uh. Here we go, here we go. Like, I seen this bitch on YouTube. Uh. She said that she got an anthrax shots and she's still fucked up to this day. Ten years later. Yeah, my allergy doctor I used to have said he don't, she don't know how long she got to live. She just knows it ain't long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's only good for them, though. Here it is right here. Um, so what kind of shit is that? You, here it is, you calling yourself a patriot. I'm, you're a great American. You volunteer your services to the military, and then they experiment on your ass. <laughs> Here you go. Genetically modified blood cells to protect tomorrow's soldiers from bioweapons. Oh, yeah. I really trust. <laughs> They're going to alter your DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This is crazy, man, this ad, man. It's, it's just crazy, man. Blood transfusions containing genetically engineered cells could be the future of countering germ warfare According to new research sponsored by DARPA, which hopes modified blood cells to help neutralize biological toxins deployed against soldiers. We got enough curses against some bikers any goddamn way, so the Lord already followed them around and make for a truck. Oh, that slip a on truck, a banana field. Right, a truck with <laughs> an intersection and plowed on motherfuckers. And I've seen some shit like that happen before. That happened. Yeah. I mean, you got a bitch. Some fat bitch could be texting and just run right into his ass. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the other day my wife was, she was recording this devil texting while driving and she was just recording. He was just texting the whole, didn't even think about looking up, man. Uh. Crazy shit, man. These motherfuckers crazy. Man. I thought this bitch on It's was... a nightmare driving, man. I feel, I feel totally, I mean, I feel like I'm in a horror movie when I'm driving, man. Right. Uh, uh, Freddy Krueger's just gonna j j jump out anywhere. Yeah, any, that's how, yeah, that's any, how it be. Any corner, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pray to the Most High the pray whole time. Yeah, pray to your Howard Bahesh, Bahashim, your Howard Shai, that's right. No, that's the only thing you can do. Pray the Jesus. only thing you can do. Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, in their research, scientists from the Whitehead Institute of Biome Biomedical Research in Massachusetts supported by the U.S. Defense Research Project Agency, renowned for being a science funding branch of the U.S. military. The researchers involved said that the U.S. was very interested in deploying the discovery against any biological weapons threat. We wanted to create high-value red cells that do more than simply carry oxygen. Now, there's a balance. Most I got your ass balanced with the red blood cells, the so-called white blood cells, for a reason. Was it Lance Armstrong or some shit like that? Was it that? Was it Lance Armstrong? Yeah. The biker dude. Um, yeah. Um, he was cheap. He was using something that um, it gave him more yeah, red. Yeah, right. I yeah. know they caught him. Yeah. I know they caught well, him. Yeah, he was for something. He was taking all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit's proved they already using shit like that. Way ahead of him. That's right. Now they just coming out of it, you know. Cause them athletes, they got all that money, they investing it into all kind of crazy shit. Super soldiers. Yeah. I mean, well, I always... mean an athlete mm -hmm. is in better shape than yeah. a soldier probably. Way far away better, man. That's their job is to train them. Yeah, yeah cause you they know. getting paid millions. The soldier ain't getting paid shit. <laughs> That's right. And how I many, be honest, be honest, how many honest soldiers do you see out there working out constantly anyway? I, I mean, know. there are a few. I do know the, the word soldier means soul dire. You dying for the sun god. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So that, that should tell you, because the ancient Roman legions, they worshiped Sol Invictus. Under the emperor Aurelius, he made Sol, he made Sol Invictus the top god. That's where you get the word soul dire. <laughs> Temporarily healed. Reincarnation. Right, I mean, 
reincarnation. <laughs> the reincarnation of all those goddamn kingdoms. Right, and just like the ancient Roman Empire, you had the barbarians invading them to visit guys and the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the different gods. You got the Mexicans invading your ass down from the down south. It's a war zone down there now. Yeah, so they said the Mexican mili uh, military was shooting. Yeah, the military helicopter. They was shooting on the American military yep. on the border. Border patrol. Uh, yep. That's sweet. And look at Big Bad America. What are they doing? They ain't doing a goddamn thing. They ain't got shit to do nothing. Everybody else overseas all spread it out. They spread it out. They just like ancient Rome was. Spread it out. Yep. Conquering all the other land. They just coming right through that border. Who? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't give a fuck about it. I, I hope. I hope this whole goddamn country burns. I don't give a fuck. Right. Big Bad America. Now they now they discovered that he's a big bag, big bad faggot. A big faggot. A big bad faggot. All these American men are are they big faggots. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, they, they marching for faggot rights. They just had a gay pride parade, what, two weeks ago? A week ago? Two what? weeks straight. And that was like the biggest event in Columbus history. <laughs> Stars and shit. Yeah, they had famous people out here. That's crazy, man. That shit was like the damn Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. faggot. And you wonder why everybody's a slave. And it was deemed a great success. Let me get this scripture. Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. That's why we're hearing that roar of us crying now. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Yeah. I can't wait to make this go down. You're going to see these people cry. That's just probably going to just, it's going to melt, man. We're going to see that pride. We see that pride melting in the midst of us right now any damn way. Because we spiritually nuking these goddamn devils with the word. Yeah, we already fucked up a big crowd of devils earlier. We fucked up their spirits so bad they walked down the street. Better take heed to the warning. I'll give that that black bitch over here. Fuck that black bitch, man. I mean, well, I'm just saying, you seen the word fuck the spirit up. Yeah, yeah. She, 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 had a, she took off. She, she didn't a, know whether to leave or not. Right. Because she <laughs> couldn't leave because she had to catch a bus. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was mad as hell. She got stuck. Right. Yeah, got stuck. That bus will come. Hey, guess what? That black bitch got marked. Marked all the <laughs> fuck up. Oh, because I got a script. Let me get a scripture for that real quick. Because, uh... Oh, hold this for me real quick. I don't want to get this other scripture real quick. It's not us you got a problem with. Yeah, that's why. It's not really us. It's not us. I got a scripture. John 17 and uh, 14. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them. Mm. Because they are, because they are us. Uh, you can read it. I can hold it for a minute. Let me read this again. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's right. So we don't give a goddamn about this world. We don't give a goddamn about America. Fuck America. Fuck America. Fuck the 4th of July. Fuck Thomas Jefferson. Fuck George Washington. Fuck Barack Obama. Fuck all this shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I have gift, yeah, we're citizens of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven ain't got no border. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's right, that's right. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That's right. And ain't only no, elect gonna have that. Ain't no truth to no motherfucker. Oh, it's a camera. Ain't I got no it. truth to the motherfucking America. Ah, <laughs> uh, my fault. You can, uh, I can use going Mm. I think 
There's a strip around that school back there that says that. Oh, that's the John A. You say I know the truth and the truth shall say. Set you free. So the truth. Ain't that kind of, that's spiritual that that's there and we right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a spiritual thing itself. Exactly. You know? Man, everybody that likes knowledge or this knowledge. <laughs> everybody likes to talk shit about the Bible to go to this college. Everybody, everybody this college, uh, they like to talk shit about the Bible. But why do they go to a college that has a scripture on it? <laughs> right. Oh wow. They oh. should stop going to that college. Mm, mm, it has mm. a scripture on it. These people are hypocrites. Hypocritical Maybe. devils. They got scripture. Isaiah fifty-five and eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Mm -hmm. says the Lord. Lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways that's right and my thoughts than your thoughts the Lord don't condone homosexuality Hell you know no. he don't he, he he don't he don't endorse um, um, adultery you know America is in a, in a it's a capital of adultery Oof. And, and more adultery is committed in America than the rest of the world combined. Combined, brother. I guarantee that. Combined, bro. That's a lot. A lot of these uh, women immigrate from other countries just so they could be a hoe. Be free. Yeah. So they, oh yeah, be free, be liberal. Mm -hmm. As a, the scripture said, liberal. <laughs> free to be That's a goddamn problem. devil. Yeah, you women out here got too much liberty. All right, you got too much freedom, and soon you're gonna lose all that freedom. There ain't gonna be no more independent woman. Ain't gonna be no more women getting child support, <laughs> taking on a man's uh, money, fucking yeah. up a man's life. Right, right. Ain't gonna be no more women getting abortions, killing a baby. All right, so all these women, they gonna get put in their proper place. And if you faggot ass men got a problem with it, you gonna chop, you gonna chop your head off. That's right. That's, that's right. That's all they gonna be to it. Straight put to death. You get put to death. That's right. Ain't gonna be no questions asked. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ain't gonna be no we, where's that in the scripture, motherfucker. We gonna come get ain't, you. Ain't gonna be no Captain Save a hoe in that right. day. Ain't none. Ain't gonna be no ain't Captain Save a hoe. Ain't no shit like that going on. That's be right. Down. That's right. You got some, brother? Yeah, yeah. Second Thessalonians 2 and, <clears throat> 2 and 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. Yes, the majority of these motherfuckers. That's right. We come out here showing them, giving them love, like giving them the truth. They're gonna perish. They're gonna perish, that's right. That, this is love, this work is love, man. What else could you call it, man? That they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion <laughs> that they should believe a lie, <laughs> that they all might be damned, who believe not the truth. You a Thessalonian, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. It sounds yeah, like it. A, these people, they, they, just, they motherfucking <laughs> live. Their whole life is a delusion. <laughs> that's and right. All these people, they just doped up on pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. Oh, I seen a, a story came out of the news the other day. It said, it said over, what was something crazy? Like 60, 70 percent of Americans <laughs> ha have a, a prescription just for uh, some some. Right, with the, right, uh, right. Painkiller pain prescription. Okay, okay. Not just okay. It, not, uh, okay. all the other drugs, not counting Valiums and the other shit. Right. Just painkillers. Right. From the poppy. Right, you right. Know what I mean? And that's kind of funny how you found that one. I found one when they said like it was like 80s, 83% some that's, odd number. You know what I mean? including all the other drugs mm -hmm. too, like the Valiums yeah, and right. the... Uh, so we, it's high, it's high. Yeah. It's a high, it's high, period. Yeah. So, th so these motherfuckers is doped up on drugs, high out their mind, mm -hmm. can't fucking think straight. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the only yep. kind of wisdom and knowledge they getting is uh, <laughs> uh, fucking NFL, the NBA. Reality TV. Now all of a sudden, America's a soccer nation. Motherfuckers <laughs> is experts on soccer all of a sudden. Right. They watching the World Cup. Right. Yeah. Let that day. They gonna drink up that cup, all right? So they like cups. Cup. <laughs> First John three and one. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. That's right. These people don't want to have nothing to do with us. They, you know what I'm saying? They don't know us. That's good. We don't want to know them either. There you go. That's what I was gonna say, bro. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. I'm happy I ain't got no friends. Mm -hmm. And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that 
when he shall appear, we shall be like him, uh -huh. for we shall see him as he is. When, ain't he a man of war? That means we soldiers now, we're gonna be, you know, yep. hey, we're gonna be that same way. Warriors. Warriors. And warriors, like you were saying, you ain't got no friends, I ain't got no friends. A soldier's supposed to be, a, he's alone anyway. Alone, yeah. so lone, lone, there lone you go, soldier, lone yeah. soldier, yeah. Well, yeah, I like that yeah. word, soul, come from the sun. How many sons Ooh, are there? Right, 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 right. No, the word solo probably comes from soul, actually, when you think about it. Hell yeah, man, it's truth, actually, man. Actually, when you look that word soldier up in the Greek in the New Testament, you'll find the word, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, the word that where you get the word strategy from, mm -hmm. you say it in Greek. I forget how to say it in the Greek way, but that was where you get the word strategy. So we're, we're like uh, we're, we're strategic. We're like strategic hitmen. You know <laughs> and it's kind of funny how the Most High strategically placed the, 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 the his elect all over this country, man. All Actually, the, all over this planet. You know, Old Testament yeah. called strategically. Yeah, strategically. <laughs> that's, that's a bad word, man. Oh yeah. yeah. You get the word uh, Abiyar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the mighty man. That's right. Let me bounce down here. First John 4 and 5. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. Mm. And the world heareth them. Yeah, right. So if we was out here, if we was out here, we had a red, white, and blue flag, and we go out here going, USA. USA. Oh man. Oh, hey, they, hear hear us, they, they join in with it. Oh, we're on OSU campus. Throwing money if, at us. If I yell out OH loud as fuck and right a, now. And a couple bunch of idiots to scream out the rest. Yeah, no, y'all. I O. I'm like, OH to be like I O. Programmed. Yep. Right. This is, this is, that's up being on the they world. They actually got shirts that say obey on it. Yeah, they wear yeah, the yeah, shirts. Yeah, obey. Yeah. Obey. That's fucking crazy when I yeah. see that shit. That's right. And what movie was that in? Uh, it said obey. That on, uh, Roddy Piper movie. There it is. That, that's right. Uh, obey. Yeah. What movie is that? That's called a. Uh, With him and uh, Roddy Piper. They in. live. They yeah, live. they live. They live. They live. They sunglasses. And they had that badass fight too. When they fight in the alley. Yeah. Oh, that was like a wrestling match itself. Yeah. <laughs> right. Knucklehead ass Jake. Yeah. Put that, on the glasses. He's a good actor though. He's a good said, actor they though. They said that wasn't acting. They was really fighting. Oh yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Roddy Piper was nuts though. <laughs> that, that's one of the craziest wrestlers in history. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's, hey, that's why they call him so rowdy. Rowdy as fuck. It was Rowdy Piper that made Hulk Hogan's faggot ass famous. What's we'll he, Scottish? Rowdy Piper? Yeah, he got it. Yeah, he's Scottish. So you know Scottish. that. He Dang grew up Piper. in Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard him. He was on the Alex Jones show. Did an mm -hmm. interview. It was pretty good. Straight up? Yeah, he's, he's into the. He, he's into some conspiracy, conspiracy theories and stuff.